the only big public thing I have going on in the next month or so is um, it's in New Jersey in Red Bank, so I don't or Col Colts Neck, Colts Neck, and I'm doing a version of the Yours, Mine, and Ours that I did here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you were there. Yes. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Yours, Mine, and Ours. The topic is that when we talk about intuition and intuition development, one of the least focused on areas that I see is the idea of thought energy because I don't know that necessarily a lot of people understand thought energy yet but I do understand thought energy more than a lot of people have the privilege of understanding it so what I recognize is that the vibration of thoughts that we're often intersecting and that really is the basis for psychic hits uh, precognitive information and so on it's the blending of thought energy between you and another source and that source can be dead or alive it could be in a body or not in a body but it's the intersecting of thought energy that enhances some of our own thoughts uh, now I, I i like to really simplify this and this is a basic truth if you are unhappy with what you're thinking and focusing on you're thinking alone and when you feel good on some level about what you're thinking about or focusing on, you're co-creating at a minimum your thoughts and your focus. And you might actually be channeling the way that I do all the time. It's not that you're not capable of having an independent and happy thought. It's just that there's such a different vibration that other souls are going to come in really, really quickly when they feel or sense that vibration to help you um, attuned to it, to enjoy it, to ride the wave of it, to understand its value, to see a positive outcome by having that focus. That's one of the things that our guides do, is to help us stay in productive thought patterns. So Yours, Mine, and Ours is about helping you know the difference between your thoughts, your guides' thoughts, only their thoughts, you being a channel or a conduit the way that I am, or blended thoughts co-created thoughts and when you're able to understand the difference between the three more clearly you become more powerful and th so that's what this topic is about and that'll be on April 29th it's a Sunday in um, Colts Neck okay uh, that was uh, I got a lot of good feedback from that event so I'll probably do something along those lines again up here eventually but if you want to see that event in its you know, purist, that's, that is the topic of the day. Come down it's to the Colts It's worth the drive, night. trust me. I was there. I was there the first time and it's well worth it. <laughs> Thank you. You can kind of know. It's really Oh, thanks. Really I really helpful. appreciate it. We all I do. Oh, you were there too? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you were there. Oh, how cool. Oh, I should have taken roll call. <laughs> oh, I, oh, okay. I didn't recognize it. Yeah, I think all of us were there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how cool. All right, good. <laughs> this is the reunion of the yours, mine, and ours. <laughs> Welcome.